What's up, BookTube? I have a question for you. And you can leave your comments if you'd like in the comment section below. When you're reading fiction books and you have a couple different kind of books that for me are, are different and I'm not quite sure how I feel about them. One is books that switch between periods of time. So sometimes they start in the present and in the past and in the present and in the past and they just kind of alternate with each chapter going back and forth in history. And then the other one is books that switch between multiple character perspectives. How do you feel about that? Books that switch between time periods and character perspectives. I'll start with time periods. I sometimes struggle with books that switch between time periods going back and forth in history. Uh, I think a lot of it, whether I can um, appreciate it more, I think depends on the caliber of the storyteller and how well they get a flow even when you're going back and forth in history because it's not as easy as it probably seems at least for me as a reader uh, I've never as a writer I've never really tried to approach a book from that perspective going back and forth in in, in terms of periods of time but as a reader it can be tough if, if the writer doesn't do a good job of making the story flow as you're moving back and forth and so I'm sometimes, when I, when I see that, if I look at a preview on Amazon, for example, if I'm buying a book or if I'm in a bookstore and I'm looking and I see a book that's jumping back and forth, I start to get concerned about the flow. Is the flow going to be really good or am I going to be like, uh, you know, where the hell am I in this story? And I have to go back and, and, and try to get my bearings to make sure that I can move forward. And so I definitely, nobody really wants a book where you like, you get stuck and then you have to go back to try to figure out where you were and then you can come back to the present time. And so uh, I'm sometimes a little bit nervous uh, when I see books that jump back and forth between periods of time, um, but sometimes it's handled really well. My Dark Vanessa is a book that I just read and I thought the author did a really good job moving back and forth in terms of periods of time. Uh, I thought the book still flowed pretty well and I didn't really have any issues following the book. A very good book. I'll talk about that uh, at my end of the month wrap up here for March 2020 but uh, that's one right there so then there's books that switch back and forth between character perspectives and there's one I'm reading right now um, that is so far is doing a pretty good job of moving back and forth between different character perspectives and I actually like this um, when I see this in a book when they're switching back and forth between character perspectives, especially if the characters are uniquely drawn and they have definitive personalities. So you're getting two different perspectives and it's not just um, the same type of voice, but just with two different names on it. And so when the characters have uh, well-developed personalities that really present very well in the story I think when you go back and forth between character perspectives it really really helps and I think that's something that is just really important that you can really get that flow even going back and forth between characters a pretty good example of jumping back and forth between character perspectives is I'm not dying with you tonight uh, this book I thought did a really nice job of jumping back and forth between character perspectives and it was still pretty easy to to follow this book and because the characters were so uniquely different and seeing the same thing from two different perspectives it really made for an interesting uh, way of following this story as it's being told from two different perspectives and I really really enjoyed that aspect of this book so again a lot of it is uh, dependent probably on the caliber of the writing and the richness of the characters that really determine if you're jumping back and forth in terms of time periods or if you're jumping back and forth between character perspectives, I think if the characters are really well drawn and the story has a nice flow, then it's not even necessarily going to matter all that much. But those are just my thoughts. Uh, but I definitely like uh, story, well-told stories that switch back and forth between characters, especially if the characters are uniquely different and they bring different perspectives to the story. I think you can really get even more depth to the story that's being told there. So let me know what you're opinions are on this topic and i'll see you back again here on this channel with future booktube content if you like what you saw please consider hitting the like button for this video and if you like booktube and authortube content 
please consider hitting the subscribe button as you join me on this journey through BookTube and AuthorTube.